While some may be anxiously awaiting for the vaccination potential of the novel coronavirus, there's already a way in which we could begin stopping its spread right now. Research from the University of Southampton has found that copper can effectively help to prevent the spread of respiratory viruses, which are linked to severe acute respiratory syndrome, SARS, and Middle East Respiratory Syndrome, MERS, not to be confused with MRSA. Animal coronaviruses that host jump to humans, such as SARS and MERS, result in severe infections with high mortality. The Southampton researchers found that a closely related human coronavirus can remain infectious on common surface materials for several days, but is rapidly destroyed on copper. The antimicrobial potential of copper and its alloys have been exploited since ancient civilizations. The oligodynamic effect was discovered in 1893 as a toxic effect of metal ions on living cells, algae, molds, spores, fungi, viruses, prokaryotic and eukaryotic microorganisms, even in relatively low concentrations. This antimicrobial effect is shown by ions of copper as well as mercury, silver, iron, lead, zinc, bismuth, gold, and aluminum. Regarding MRSA, after evaluating a wide body of research mandated specifically by the United States Environmental Protection Agency, the EPA, registration approvals were granted by EPA, granting that copper alloy kills more than 99%, more than 99.9% .9 of MRSA within two hours. Regarding E. coli, over 99.9% .9 of E. coli microbes are killed after just one to two hours on copper. Yet on stainless steel surfaces, the microbes can survive for weeks. Regarding the flu, the flu virus may stay active on surfaces for up to 48 hours. After incubation for an hour on copper, active influenza A virus particles reduced by 75%. After six hours, the particles were reduced on copper by 99.999%. Regarding adenovirus, in a recent study, 75% of adenovirus particles were inactivated on copper within one hour. Within six hours, 99.999% of the adenovirus particles were inactivated. However, within six hours, only 50% of the infectious adenovirus particles survived on stainless steel. Regarding fungi, the antifungal efficacy of copper surfaces on organisms that can cause human infections demonstrated an increased die-off of fungal spores. Human coronavirus, which also has ancestral links with bat-like viruses responsible for SARS and MERS, was found to be permanently and rapidly deactivated upon contact with copper. What's more, the viral genome and structure of the viral particles were destroyed, so nothing remained that could pass on the infection. With the lack of antiviral treatments, copper offers a measure that can help reduce the risk of these infections spreading. It's also worth mentioning that eating up to nine servings of fruits and vegetables per day, especially golden kiwi, tomato juice, and cruciferous vegetables, as well as nutritional yeast and mushrooms, can help boost your immune system. Sunshine, stress management, and adequate sleep can as well. Vulnerable populations need to be made aware of these life hacks to protect them against these viruses and in the event of contracting them, lessen the severity of symptoms. In the description of this video, we offer some solutions for you to consider implementing to protect yourself now. These range from products such as copper straws, mugs, nasal and tongue swabs, gloves, socks, doorknobs, and more. Please share, comment, and subscribe for more content. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't like it, well, you might want to go tell the vegetable police.